Azenda's ability to embed is unparalleled to any other platform in the business intelligence space. This video will cover concepts of embedding and white labeling into an existing application. For this video, we will be using an AngularJS template application to show off some of these concepts. Also, we will be using the DevTools feature out of Google Chrome frequently to find where some of the CSS and HTML is being set and where it can be modified. Finally, this video assumes that the user has successively set up an HTML Starter Kit application in the HTML Starter Kit install video, as we will leverage that environment in our embedded example. Also, this guide is for exploring and demonstrating embedding and white labeling concepts. While the concepts described have parity with an actual integration, the kits used are designed for trial and demonstration purposes only. The first thing we need to do is bring over the Izenda directory from the HTML starter kit that has been set up from the last video. Also, we will need to copy over the web.config and index.html files. In this case, we will need to make sure that our Izenda index.html file does not conflict with the index.html contained within the template application. We will need to rename the Izenda index.html to Izenda.html. To embed, we will need to bring the Izenda deployment and any required structure into scope so it can be embedded within our AngularJS pages. We can see the structure required to bring Izenda into an existing page by looking at the Izenda.html page that we brought over. From this file, we can see how and what JavaScript is needed for Izenda to render the entire platform. From this template, we can use the numerous APIs provided in the documentation to embed bits and pieces of the platform all the way down to the report part level. There is a page in this template application that has been left intentionally blank as a canvas to work with within the application. Using this blank HTML page, we will begin embedding the entire platform into a page and explore some of the white labeling concepts. We will open our blank.html source code and begin removing some of the unnecessary features from this page. Then we will grab the JavaScript sources and the config function from the isenda.html file and paste them into the blank.html file at the bottom. In the HTML at the top of this program, we can reference the isenda-root object we just brought into scope and then use that ID in the div referencing the isenda-container class. With what is being shown on screen, we can expect the blank.html page to render the entire Izenda deployment using the system admin user through the impersonated security model that we set up in the HTML starter kit. Also, for this application, we will need to make sure that we are referencing the right directories and resources in the main.js file. In this case, we will look to see where the blank.html page is being referenced and be sure to add the file structure for the Izenda-UI.CSS and jQuery URL that is used in the azenda.html and blank.html files. One of the first things that can be done to white label this deployment is to remove the Izenda logo from the top of the screen. This is the only place where Izenda's logo would show up in this deployment as it impersonates authentication and does not allow the user to reach the login screen where another Izenda logo would be located. Using the dev tools provided on Google Chrome, we can use the element selector to point and click at the Izenda logo and then be presented with the underlying source code to show where this icon is in the project. In this case, removing the .izenda-topmenu-logo from the izenda-ui-blessed1.css class will completely remove the icon from view. Using this concept of identifying where specific pieces of CSS are in the code, we can then begin modifying the look and feel of this deployment at a high level to make sweeping changes that will have an effect throughout the entire platform. For instance, determining where color values are going to set and changing the header color from blue to red will change that same header throughout each page of Izenda. The same concept can be used for button color on its unselected and selected modes, background, fonts, font color, and much more. This is how a user can begin meshing Izenda into pre-established UI and UX provided in the existing application that Izenda is being embedded into. As for individual pages being embedded, like the report designer or report list, specific functions can be used to embed those specific pages. They will be called similarly to how the Izenda Synergy render function was called back on the blank.html page, but will be named per the type of page. 
In the Izenda documentation, there is a comprehensive listing of these functions that can be used to accomplish this with sample code to assist. For a quick example, we will embed the report designer into the blank page that we've been working with just to show the ease of use. All the developer would need to do is change the function and parameters from render to match one of the APIs listed in the documentation. This is how we would embed that report designer. Finally, embedding report parts to embellish existing pages is a great way to use Azenda's modern visualizations. For this example, we will embed a chart onto the landing dashboard of the AngularJS template application to explain this concept. Like how we embedded entire pages, Izenda will need the proper JavaScript in scope to create definitions for these report parts to be layered in the underlying HTML. Using the render report part function, we can bring specific report parts into scope to be referenced in the HTML code above. For this, the user will need to give the report part a custom ID and then reference the desired report parts GUID from the Izenda configuration database. These GUIDs for report parts can be found in the Izenda report part table of that configuration database. The user can query that database and find a listing of any report parts contained within the deployment. If none have been created to this point, the user will need to go into the fully embedded reporting platform and build out some reports prior to attempting to embed the report parts themselves. With the custom ID value set and the report part brought into scope using the render report part function with the corresponding GUID, the user can then reference the custom ID value in a div tag to embed the report part anywhere on the page that they desire. In this case, we will embed the report part onto one of the portlets provided by this AngularJS kit. Throughout the process, using the element selector from Chrome's DevTools will be a valuable asset in adjusting values that the user desires in order to achieve a truly white-labeled experience or make quick code-level changes to correct any discrepancies between asset libraries, locate specific bits of code, and navigate through the process of embedding Izenda into your offering. Be sure to frequently reference the documentation as it will be a valuable asset in successfully embedding Izenda into your platform. Keep in mind that this HTML starter kit is strictly for trial purposes and testing embedding concepts. The security contained within this deployment is impersonated, so a security layer does not need to be configured. Once the basics of embedding are understood, it is simple to embed any piece of Izenda into an existing application and white label it to fit any desired look and feel. For more information on embedding, white labeling, or anything Izenda, please reference our documentation, our website, or watch additional videos for more information.